This story is about a love of physics, but also a love of Bristol and about the impact that higher education has had on one family. I first came across H.H. Potter when I was reading a paper that Potter had written in 1929 where he figured out where the manganese atoms were sitting within the crystal structure. He made a really important contribution to our understanding of magnetism in a class of materials that are still of interest today. Potter was born in Hannam in Bristol in 1900. He entered the university very young, he was only 16, and he graduated with a first class honours degree in physics. He returned to Bristol as an assistant lecturer in 1924 and became a full lecturer in 1928, just a year after the new physics building opened. There's actually a really interesting story about how Potter met his future wife, Doreen Cobb, known as Bunty. During the Second World War, when air raids were happening over Bristol, university staff and students would go up to the top of the HH Wills Physics Laboratory to go and look to see where incendiary bombs had been dropped across the city. Bunty and HH Potter were fire watchers looking to see where these bombs were being dropped. What is so touching about this story is that a man born in 1900 has inspired legacy gifts in his name that will support future generations of PhD students in perpetuity. PhD students and their research, they are the beating heart of any university and particularly for Bristol. There are more than three and a half thousand research students across the whole university, frankly, if they weren't here, research would come to a halt. My research interests are in the area of integrated quantum photonics and particularly for two applications, mainly quantum computing and quantum simulation. I conduct my research in an area called biophysics. I look at the behaviour of proteins and why they may or may not misbehave in the body. So this has implications in diseases such as cataracts and Alzheimer's. So my research has a massive crossover with medicine. The School of Physics is very fortunate to have this H.H. Potter Legacy Fund as it simply enables more students to be able to come and study at the university and become young researchers. Gifts and donations make a tremendous difference and really enable these individual students to contribute by their research advances but also with their contributions in teaching for example. The HH Potter Fund gives the person in receipt of that funding the flexibility and kind of the agency to do the research that really inspires them. And this is something that will continue in perpetuity, so many more students long after me and on and on will come and do research, which is both good for the opportunities for those people but also for the university in terms of its research and the wider scientific community and what it could mean for the world. PhD students are the lifeblood of the department. They push research boundaries and expand our knowledge of physics, just as Potter did himself. It will be really exciting to see over the next hundred years what research materialises out of the fund that the family of H.H. Potter had left. <laughs>